Steven Gonzalez making his major league debut. We showed you the numbers already. 12 and 3 combined between double A and triple A. Good minor league numbers. 53 minor league wins, only 20 losses. There, he got the corner. And his first big league strikeout is against a pretty good hitter. Got him. Went upstairs with another one. Lucas Giolito. Giolito making his 25th start, his fourth against the Twins, and he's pitched well against the Twins this year in three previous starts. All three starts, quality starts. Polanco goes, got a good jump, but it's strike three, and the inning ends. Absolutely. Now drive to the gap in right center field. He's just given up his third hit. This one will one hop the wall. Heading to second is Delmonico. A little problem with it out in center by Kepler, and it'll be a triple for Delmonico to start the second inning. Well, ball past Adrianza into right field, an RBI single for Davidson. Delmonico scores. Davidson with that single, driving in his 45th run. Popped up. Mauer chasing it. Adrianza after it. That ball lands a fair ball. And safe at second. Hit between Cave, Mauer, and Adrianza. A single to make it two to nothing. Boy, sometimes the ball just finds a hole, and that was a hole right there. Three players converging on that pop up. And a strikeout. Uh, what would have been a pitch inside. Lace down the line past the note. Sanchez will score. Smith coming in. Rosario firing towards third base, and he'll hold the runner. Anderson at third. It's four to nothing, Chicago. Well, I bring you with his 36th double of the year, driving in two. Now with 78 on the season. Bell behind an account came in with a change up or a little cutter and Abreu right down that third baseline. Suddenly there's a pretty big at bat. The bases are loaded one out. Garcia is the batter. The White Sox already lead four to nothing. Garcia here on one and two. High cheese a strikeout two away. A big strikeout right there. Back to Buznitz. Great sound right there. Nice job by Alan Buznitz. Breaking ball and it's oh, looped good. to right Very of base hit. Nice. Okay, will fly around second. Get going. He's going to third and they're going to wave him around. Austin to second with a double and the Twins are on the board. In a way, Austin showed in a different way his power. He hit that. Right off the end of the bat, and still went out near the warning track. Yeah, we saw it in yesterday's ball game. Yeah, he can hit that fastball a long way, but we're being impressed with the way he handles the breaking ball. And a fastball down the middle of the strike. And solidly to left, a base hit. He's a good hitter. Came into this year a 301 hitter with all that power. It was Buznitz who struck Garcia out upon entering the game, and he got him again. Pick off to second, and now the throw to third, and Sano can't catch the ball, and the ball kicked to the warning track, and the White Sox will get a run. Abreu took off for third as soon as Garver came out of the crouch, and Adrianza had to try to hit Sano on the run. And Kepler's going out on strikes. Make sure that you know you use your legs. Gap to right center, long run, and Garcia unable to get it. And Garber will hold up at second with a two-out double. A slicing liner that had just enough twist on it to get out of Garcia's grasp. And now he's hurt on a warning track. Yeah, he's a little uh, sore getting up. They're kind of limping back toward uh, the infield area. You know, this doesn't look good. He's going to need some help getting off the field with an injury to his left leg. Schneider and Joe McEwing will run out there to assist in whatever way they can. A blast to center. Angle going back. He won't get there. It's gone. 
Cave clicks his sixth home run of the year, and it's five to three. Well, we could talk about the strikeouts and all that, but one one weird thing we have seen from Jake Cave when he does make solid contact, that ball jumps off his bat. Drake in a Twins uniform making his sixth relief appearance. He's worked six and a third innings, given up only one hit, three walks and seven strikeouts. An ERA over seven coming into this ballgame, but the bullpen has been outstanding, and Drake picks up his second straight strikeout. Got him looking. Oh, my. It's the second time a Bray has been called out on strikes on a pitch he thought was inside. And a called third strike. You can't do better than striking out all three batters in a one, two, three, six. And he struck out. This one will stay fair, headed to the gap. Angle won't get there, and it's hard off the wall. Kepler will run around second on his way to third. He's got a triple with one out here in the sixth. And he went down on a half swing, two down. And slider down and away. Jacked his swing. Strike three. Gabe knew it. Didn't wait for the ring up by Jeff Nelson at third. Trevor May will pitch for the Twins in the seventh. Trevor coming in for the eighth time. An infield in again for Davidson. A high fly to deep center. Kepler back at the wall. Leaping. And it's gone. A home run. Just out of the reach of Max Kepler. Davidson, the straightaway center. And the White Sox have doubled their lead. All right, jumped on that fastball right there. Davidson with his 18th home run of the year. First home run that May has allowed. Juan Manaya coming into the ballgame in his third season with the White Sox. 27 year old from the Dominican Republic. Three strikes. You see that overpowering fastball right there at 96. And Adrianza strikes out. That's given the assumption there's a all third strike. Addison Reed coming out for the top of the eighth inning, making his 47th relief appearance. White Sox claimed him off waivers back in November. Ooh, hot shot under Bauer's glove, and that'll get quickly into the corner. Cave. It's up firing. They're going to send the runner in and throw over the cutoff man. A double for Palka. And the fleet footed Anderson scores from first. And strikes out Rosario. A foul tip into the glove of Smith. Four batters faced, four strikeouts. Wow. Power against power, so no strikes out. So now it's a five run lead for the White Sox, and Thiago Vieira will come in for the eighth time this year. Yeah, Vieira, a couple stents with the uh, Chicago White Sox, traded over by Seattle to the White Sox. It's hit well to left center field, headed towards the bullpen, and gone, Kepler. With another home run, his 17th of the year. And he's got a triple and a home run in his last two at bats. Under the glove of a brain, came around third, he'll score. Adriante has his second hit, the game's alive. And Bauer will hit. Bouncer right to the second baseman Sanchez and the White Sox come to Minnesota and win the game that was snowed out in April. Now Steven. Sagaldas just didn't pitch very well so. Again starting pitching. Giolito pitched very very well for. The Chicago White Sox. 